So today we're going to replace this headlight. For this particular model of scooter, an OEM headlight costs about $40. And on the uh, DrATV.com store, they have a replacement, an aftermarket, that fits this space for about $30. And the big difference is that it's got replaceable bulbs instead of having to replace the whole sealed beam. So we'll compare here real quick. Here's a standard equipment one that came with the bike. Um, it's made by Stanley, not the Stanley, uh, not the Stanley company that you and I know for their levels and rollers and tools. This is a Stanley uh, like lighting company. So every thing you see that has to do with lighting for a Honda would be from Stanley. So anyway, this is a Stanley sealed beam. And what that means is when it burns out, you got to replace the whole thing. Over here, so here is the original, and you can see it's all one unit sealed. That's why they called it a sealed beam. Here is a replaceable. So it looks about the same. The big difference is back here, it's actually a socket. This is a socket that holds in a replaceable bulb. So it comes with its own trim ring, and the trim ring is not a perfect match. So we're going to have to make some modifications. What I find interesting is that there isn't a whole lot of modifications to make. There's this little tab here, I just had to bend it out just a little bit, that tab, so it would fit up under this lip. But these two holes on here, they don't line up with the original holes, but there is a hole right here that lines up, and then one of the original holes. So originally this hole, if I can focus here, here we go. This hole had a rubber plug in it, so I just grabbed the rubber plug and put it back over here in this hole. So we'll uh, see how this, uh, how well this fits in that space. Now I gotta put it all in together. So we got two blue leads and a white lead. The white lead is the common. Then we have a low beam and a high beam, which I don't know which is which right now. I'm going to find out uh, when I hook it up here. The aftermarket headlight only comes with one lead. So available on that website, you can also get um, a two to one splitter and a little cover for it. So I'm going to attempt to get all that working. I'm just going to crimp these two together. You won't be able to see it. My camera doesn't keep focus on close objects. Maybe if I stand in front of it here. Well, I had to get creative. I used the existing bullet connector with the new double connector and I just kind of wrapped them around each other and crimped them down on top of each other. And um, and then I got this extra boot here to go over all of it so that'll protect it from shorting. Now I'm going to install it into the scooter. crimp All right. 
already. I'm going to attach this to see if I got it working. See anything? Oops. So this light only run only is on when the scooter is running. That's good to know. I have to install this back in the chrome ring, and then once I get there, I'll try to capture installing it in the, the front of the, the bike. Alright, I got everything put back together for the most part. I'm going to try to stuff all the wiring in here and make room for this. It does make this deeper, makes this uh, whole assembly a little bit wider. These screws look like look nothing like the screws that are actually used, but they should work. There it is. I um, wouldn't call it a perfect fit. Slight gap in the top here. Um, I might be able to fix that just by tightening things up. But I mean, the screw hole locations worked out. There's one there. And there's one there. Originally, that was used, and this was used where I've got the plug now. So, but now if I ever get a dead battery and I try to start this, I end up blowing out the headlight like these are prone to do. Um, all it'll take is a three dollar light bulb inside this assembly instead of having to replace the whole thing. Okay, so I got the chrome back for the scooter, so we're going to take a look at it right now. I just partially unwrapped it here. Um, so, there it is. Looks like brand new. It's beautiful. It's got some fingerprints all over it, but besides that, take a look at that. I'll try to uh, do some type of a split screen or something to show you, you know, up in this area, what it used to look like. And so it's kind of a before and after. Both this uh, muffler and this rack were super rusty. 
but it was mainly surface rust, so um, I knew that it would come back once my family, my cousin polished it, and then my, one of my uncles plated it. I also did the headlight bezel, but since I installed that new headlight, I'm probably not going to need it, but it's beautiful too. You can see the reflection right in there. It's like perfect. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these installed, and then I'll come back and show you how it looks like on the bike. So, I apologize for the fan noise. So, I got this uh, loosely installed. That fits good. We'll go along here. I had to... I had to disconnect the brake pedal so I could fit it in there. And then we get to this hole right here. And we're off by quite a bit. I'm wondering if maybe that's why this hole was drilled out on this bracket so bad. So now I gotta try to figure out how to get that to line up. Um, I can only bend this uh, pipe so far before I crack the chrome, so. I guess I'll just cross my fingers and try to stretch this out a little bit. So what I ended up doing was I uh, wrapped the pipe in a little bit of paper so I wouldn't scratch it with this pry bar right there. I stuck the pry bar behind the brake lever, or I don't know what that is, part of the brake system, and then I pried against that black bracket until I was able to line it up with the uh, the swing arm bolt. So now I just gotta slide that in place and hopefully that was just a little hump I needed to get over. It seems to be a pretty, pretty loose fit now that um, I got past that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put the, the uh, there's gonna be a, a lock nut on here and then I gotta lock down the nuts um, that attach the bracket to the, to the uh, muffler down here, and then these little guys, I just gotta crank those down too. All right, I got that sucker cranked down and it's not going anywhere. So now let's give her, let's fire her up. I don't know if you remember what it sounded like without the muffler. It was quite loud. Let's see here. a little better. Got that headlight working. A little bit of smoking probably from the uh, likely from the fluid the chemicals that they use to chrome plate. I'm probably not supposed to be breathing this. I think it's just exhaust. It smells like exhaust. So I'm curious how this, and here's some more that came out. Again, it's just a little bit of everything. I'm curious how the performance is gonna be now. I'm probably gonna have to tune the carburetor a little bit just because I was riding it without a muffler and it was ripping. I mean, it was going fast. And so I'm probably, now that it's got a muffler on it, that would probably richen up the mix so it might bog a little bit. We'll find out once I get it out on the road. But uh, the rest of the work that has to be done is just cosmetic. I gotta put the, fr the front rack up on here, basket, and then the leg shield, and this project will be done. What I actually plan on doing is I'm taking this seat and I'm putting it on this bike. This bike, 
is in much better condition than the red one. And so I figured what I'll do is I'll take some of the newer components, like the seat and the basket, and I'm going to trade them. Because this basket is a little beat up, this seat's a little old and worn, and I think it would just match this scooter a little bit better. Um, even though the scooter does have some new parts, like this and that, and uh, the foot pegs are brand new and the kickstand. Um, but it looks like it has been, at one point it was run over, backed over probably. The side covers are pretty worn, um, and those can be replaced pretty easily. But this bike just looks like it's been loved a little bit more. And so I plan on making that look complete by putting the older seat and the older basket on it and transferring the new ones to this guy. Alright, so what I ended up doing was I did swap the seat from the other bike to this one and also the beat up basket on the front. That basket was kind of held together with zip ties and so I had to kind of redo the zip ties on this one so it's nice and stiff and uh... because it's kind of fallen apart at the welds I think it's just seen too many bumps everything else is on I am holding off though on putting the leg shield on for two purposes first I may need to do some carburetor adjustment and I don't want that thing to be in the way and second this mounting hole here for the um, leg shield appears to be stripped out so I'm gonna have to get a tap and a larger screw and tap that out drill it out tap it and get something bigger than what I got I don't remember what they are uh, six millimeter screws I think so I'll probably have to jump up to an eight um, but I'll take care of that tomorrow or Saturday today's Thursday um, and then in the winter I think what I want to do in the winter time is take all the other brand new parts off of this bike so that would be the air cleaner and the foot peg slash side stand assembly and the rear license plate holder and blinker assembly um, I think that's everything and maybe this front rack that I just had chromed and I am going to transfer them over to this bike because again like I said this bike almost looks like almost looks like it came straight out of the shop or out of the uh, dealership because it's it's been taken that well care of and so I figure I'll have one ratty bike and I'll just leave it as is with all the ratty parts and the old seat and everything nothing is um, destroyed by any means it's still all perfectly serviceable and um, and then I'll have one that looks completely restored. So that's the plan. I'm going to wrap it up for today. Oh, I do need to do something about this ugly chain guard, though. I don't know what I'm going to do about that yet. Um, maybe I'll chrome it. I'm not sure. Just because chrome or white, it's going to stand out all the same. Might as well have it look nice. I don't know. I'll figure that out later. But I'm wrapping this up for today. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Thank you for all your suggestions and your comments. Uh, keep uh, hitting that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later.